In this video, we'll look at using the Smart Selection Brush. Some intricate areas of your image might be difficult to select with some of the other selection tools available in PhotoPlus. The Smart Selection Brush allows you to paint areas you want to select, like you are using a paintbrush. This tool is really easy to use and will help you achieve an accurate selection. As we learnt in the first video in this series, Selections 1 The Basics, you usually create a selection when you want to edit a particular section of an image. If you haven't already watched that video, we recommend you do so now to familiarise yourself with the basics of making selections. OK, let's get started. As you can see, I've already opened my photo in PhotoPlus. I'd like to make the subject stand out from the background. To do this, I'll apply a blur effect to the background so it is a little less prominent. First, we need to select the Smart Selection Brush, which can be found on the Tools toolbar on the left. We could paint over the background and then apply the effect. However, for a more accurate selection, I'll paint over the subjects of the photo and then invert the selection. Hover over your photo to see the size of the tool in relation to the image you're working on. It seems really small, so I'll increase the brush size on the context toolbar. Grow Tolerance extends the selection area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. Changing this value controls the precision with which areas of your photo are selected. We'll leave it as it is for now, but can review it later. Now, I'll click and drag over my photo to select the subjects. The dashed outline, often referred to as the selection marquee, indicates areas that are selected. As you can see, I've accidentally selected some of the background by mistake. To the left of the context toolbar are two buttons which control if newly painted selection areas are added or subtracted from an existing selection, respectively. By default, Add to Selection is selected. Select Subtract from Selection and paint over the areas of your existing selection that shouldn't be there. That looks much better. Now we've defined a selection area, we need to invert it, as I mentioned earlier. This will select everything outside the current selection. Basically, unselected pixels will become selected, and vice versa. Before we do this, let's apply feathering to the selection. This creates a transition area between the selection area and the unselected area, and produces a gradual fade out. From the Select menu at the top of the workspace, click Modify, Feather. In the dialog, drag the slider to set the width in pixels of the transition area. You can also change the preview from the drop-down list. Choosing black or white matte will allow you to review the new transition of the selection area. Feel free to tweak the number of pixels to see how it affects your selection. When you're happy, click OK. You can see the size of the selection marquee has increased to include the transition area. Now we'll invert the selection. From the Select menu, click Invert. These selection options are also available from the right click menu whenever a selection area is defined. The selection has been reversed and the background is now selected. Don't worry that the area around the edge of the subjects is also selected. This is the transition area. Now we'll apply a blur effect from the filter gallery. On the Photo Studio toolbar above your photo, click Filter Gallery. In the pane on the right, expand the blur category. Select the blur of your choice, I'll choose Gaussian, and then adjust filter specific settings in the filters pane. I'll increase the radius very slightly. Review the changes in the preview pane on the left, and then click OK. Finally, to cancel the selection and select nothing, open the Select menu and click Deselect. The subjects of this photo stand out, and the background is a lot more subtle than before. And that's it! To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.